I've also noticed, you know, I know it was happening. It's been happening throughout, you know, the years. Um, US dudes collaborating. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting too. Well, I think a lot of the, a lot of the, like, you know, US idols, they're a lot more approachable now and easier to get on records. Like you can get someone like AJ or whoever it is, you know, Lord Finesse or someone, you know, they're probably way more approachable to get on a record than they were 20 years ago when they were really like, you know, the fresh thing. But, um, and plus like Australia, like not only that, that's, that sounds like kind of like a negative way of looking at it, but it's, I think like also Australia is a lot more well known in the States now, kind of like you watch any like Hollywood movie and there's like references to Australia all over yeah. the place. You know, we have like, you know, people have, actors have like, you know, gone into like, you know, being like superstars over there and all that. Like, so American culture is kind of like permeated with Australian people doing shit. Mm. Yeah, it's a so bit I guess like, I guess like music collabos is like the next step or something. Now, do you find that, cause someone made this, um, an interesting comment and, um, when 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 talking about collaborations that the majority of the time it's dudes sending beats and sending verses and it's really quite rare that you get to link up well I'll, I'll give you another thing as well like back when um we were doing international collabos on enough said there were, like the internet was like pretty it was pretty early internet as well so like you know people had like fucking dial-up connections and shit so a lot of that was done through the mail. So we would get stuff like, say, to me from South Africa, like that all just came on like CD-ROMs and stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? It wasn't like we would just had Dropbox. It's, it's really, I think it must be really hard for like younger dudes to imagine mm. what a uh, collaboration overseas would have been like without the internet. You have to like ring people up in their time zone and like catch them and fucking find out what their phone number is. And it's a, some crazy shit. Like it's not just like, Hitting them up on Twitter is like, yo, let's collab. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like a really fucking hard work. So now you yeah. um you recently uh, put out the single with Guilty Simpson. Yeah, and you actually had the opportunity to work with him in the studio. Yeah, yeah. So tell us a bit about that process. Okay, that was sort of like I just being lucky, I guess, because um I have like a running list of people I want to like do stuff with, and it like some of them are a little bit probably out of my league, and some of them are probably like pretty approachable. And he was definitely on the list. And um, I was just lucky enough that Catalyst had done like a whole album with him and he was like, you know, really on really good terms with Guilty. And they just happened as I was like finishing up the record and looking for like just peppering it with some like uh, collabos. He was like touring at the time. So I just ended up like I just sent him uh, through Catalyst, sent the beat through him. And uh, he wrote to it. And so by the time he hit Melbourne on their tour, he was able to come through the studio and like actually lay it down in the studio. So it was kind of cool. Like a lot of the other coll like collaborations on the record was like done in the studio as well. But like I had to, like the Coma Chi track was like probably the most, the hardest one to put together. That was like, that was like three tri trips to Japan from the moment I met her to like the next time I went to talking about maybe doing something. And then the third time, actually getting it like getting a Japanese dude who made beats to like get his studio and get her there and her to write to something and then sitting with her on the day to try and translate her Japanese into English so that she could like rap it and stuff. It was like, it was like a crazy process, you know, it was like three, it was almost, almost like three years of like fucking around to get like a, like a track. Yeah. That's fucking in a way. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the last one. Oh yeah.